Hey everybody, this is Shane with Mud Hog Mafia. I've got my son Dylan and my assistant uh, running the camera today and we're doing a video on showing you how to properly replace the bearing sleeves for your crankshaft in a Can-Am engine case. And I've already done this side and uh, we'll be using a hydraulic press a bearing race and seal driver removal tool. And, uh, but the reason why we're doing this to begin with is my 800 Renegade motor uh, spun a rod bearing a little while back and also blew a head gasket. So I decided since I was gonna be tearing the motor down, we're gonna do a complete engine rebuild and uh, I'll be uh, posting videos of that in the soon and near future and uh, to show you the different steps that I've learned on properly putting this motor together. But first, these are all the new parts that are going in the bike. I have a 975 big block kit with high compression pistons. I've got Maverick race heads, Maverick race cams, everything courtesy of Mr. RPM. And uh, I'm also be installing the new cranking rods and uh, very excited about this. But uh, I guess we'll get started on this. First thing you need to do is uh, I use this board to help steady the engine case. And I'm gonna take this uh, bearing race to push this out. And what you wanna do is you wanna center it as best you can. Then I'm gonna take this deep well socket I'm gonna use it to help push this out. You wanna be very careful that you keep everything centered because you don't wanna damage. see the old sleeves are out. Now we're gonna get a on these bearing sleeves you need to pay particular attention there is a hole. That's the hole that feeds the oil to your bearing and there will be a hole inside your case i'll let dylan film it you can see it. that's the oil feed for this bearing once you press the old one out i'm going to clean it a little bit with just some brake cleaner Make sure everything feels smooth. I've heard of people having to have these honed out because the actual bearing for the crankshaft itself is spun or seized. And a lot of times that requires them being honed out and 
you having to run a slightly larger sleeve. So next up, we're going to line our hole up, our oil feed hole. And this is the tricky part, holding everything together. I'm gonna take a slightly larger race as to hold these steady. And uh, we're gonna have to pause this for a second. I'm gonna have to raise this up. Okay, let me uh, put my board back in here. Line my oil feed hole back up with the hole in the case. And I found that when I was doing the first one, sometimes it's very hard to get this started back in straight. to the one I used to push it out. And I'm gonna slightly recess this. Only because that's the way the old ones were when I pulled them out. That'll be it for today, and I hope y'all will su subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also you can find us on Instagram at Mud Mudhog Mafia. Thank you very much.